Hey, what is up guys? Robin here from Arbin Hardware. In today's video, we're going to discuss and talk about two brand new upcoming desktop Ryzen 5000 CPUs with Ryzen 7 5800X and the Ryzen 9 5900X. And based on the leaked gaming benchmarks that we're gonna look at in just a second, to me, it looks like Zen 3 can be the ultimate gaming CPU and the first processor from AMD to actually beat Intel. Yeah, sure, 15% per IPC and lower power consumption that's impressive for sure but it might not be enough incentive for someone that is sitting on a second gen or a third gen ryzen processor to actually upgrade however it turns out these cpus will be fantastic to game on now this new leaked benchmark spotted by tomapisac shows that amd's upcoming 8 core will absolutely crash Intel's fastest 10 core ship when it comes to price and performance. This benchmark was conducted in Ashes of the Singularity at the 4K Crazy preset. And we can see that the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X delivers up to 22% higher frame rate than Intel's TP Top Core i9 10900K in a normal test run and 16% faster in all batch results. Now both setups here were running a GeForce RTX 2080 graphics card. Keep in mind here guys, the Core i9 10900K is a 10 core CPU with clock speeds up to 5.3 GHz. So that essentially means that the 8 core Ryzen 5800X must be a complete monster. So with that said, let's take a greater look at the Ryzen 7 5800X and in turn in terms of specifications, core and thread count can actually be found in Ashes of the Singularities. We're looking at 8 core and 16 thread part here. That being said, the clock speed aren't stated, but because the 5800X is replacing the 3800X, we see that this one has a base and a turbo of 3.9 and 4.5 respectively, so that should give us an idea where the 5800X might end up. Now, given that Zen 3 is a redefined Zen 2 architecture, expecting at least 3 to 400 a clock speed increase seems quite reasonable. It gives us a potential base and turbo of 4.2 and 4.8 or even 4.9 for the 5800X. And so these numbers here should give us an idea where the CPU might end up in terms of specifications. Now, it turns out that the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X is only one of two 50 and Ryzen series ships that have been confirmed so far. The Ryzen 9 5900X has also been discovered by a tech tuber called PC Welt. This one is said to replace the 3900X and this is a high end 12 core and 24 thread part. As for the alleged specifications, the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X is said to feature an IPC improvement of up to 20% and from the look of it, it seems that AMD has put a lot of effort into turning the clock speed frequencies to the point that we might see this chip reach boost clock up to 5 GHz and that's a plus 400 MHz improvement over the Ryzen 930 900x in terms of boost clocks now keep in mind guys that this boost number is on a single core boost and not all core boost here however very exciting numbers for sure now another interesting takeaway here is the massive tdp increase we're looking at 150 watt for the 5900 x this is 45 watt higher than the ryzen 9 3900 x which has a tdp of 105 watt it seems that in these trying to act extra performance by increasing the TDP and given the fact that we already seen engineering samples pushing 4.9 reaching 5 GHz seems very likely. Now one of the reasons why AMD has been able to make this huge leap in performance lies in the fundamental changes to Zen 3's new architecture or a redesigned CCD cache structure seem to be a game changer. I actually covered this in greater depth in a recent video which you can find linked up down below. Now just looking at the average performance difference between the 3100 and the 3300X, we see that there is a 12% performance difference with the only difference being one CCX versus two. So I think we could possibly see a 30% core for core performance increase with all things considered. As for pricing guys, we think AMD will price the 5800X around $400 while the 5900X aka the 12% 
24 core beast, this might end up around $500. IMD is going to hold a presentation on October 8th where we get to learn a lot more about these processors and in terms of release date, according to rumors we believe that these processors will be out in late October. So my question to you guys, what do you think about Ryzen, a 50 on Ryzen so far, are you going to upgrade? Let me know in the comments below.